So let's start with the PHP side of it. So go to our code, you know, server part. Let's first create a model and migration. So PHP artisan make model dash M chat. All right. We should have a migration file here. Side database migrations. This is one which we are working, going to work with. Okay. Now, what are the different fields which we need? We need an integer. Okay. Integer which will be sender ID. It will be unsigned and then one more which is receiver ID. We'll also need a text field which will be chat. I'll keep it text field so that you know uh, people can post a lot of content. Sometimes we paste large chunk of data so we'll handle that as well anyways and then a red status so yeah these are the four fields which we will create and that will be enough for us to create a basic chat application okay um, I'll call the chat model okay and in here first we'll need to have the fill level fields you have sender id receiver id chat red all right so this is done now we need a way to you know uh, whenever we are retrieving a chat we need the sender and the receiver user profile as well okay so what we are going to do is create two attributes we will use something called protected dollar appends okay in this we'll have sender receiver and then And we'll create a public function which is get sender attribute and we'll have the receiver attribute what should they do they will return user where ID is this dot sender ID and we'll get the first one dollar this yes just I need to import what is happening this is namespace okay mm. it's only giving me import namespace anyways I will add it manually use app user okay and yeah copy this paste it here just need to change this okay fine so our model is ready I don't need this anymore uh, change the view okay and let's get our controller the chat controller we'll have to create it we don't have a chat controller for now yes so uh, create a controller make controller chat controller okay and we are here now let's see the code to do with the controller so first thing is we will have a function called let's just say public function get user conversation by ID okay I'm going to inject the request uh, eliminate HTTP request is already here 
so that's okay and i think i'll need the chat as well so i'll just keep it for now app slash chat okay mm. anyway so this is the function and what are we going to do we will get the user id from the request so this is the id uh as in conversation by id that's the user which we are going to which we have clicked then we need to get the current logged in user which we'll call auth user id okay that will be our request user id okay and yeah so we'll call for chats so chat it will be a where in query wherein okay wherein we'll first do sender id oh by the way i should have done the migration first anyways we, we will check that out okay so wherein this is the first condition and i'll pass auth user id and user id that's the first condition again wherein uh, receiver id will be the same which is auth user id and order user id okay we will order the conversations by created at and they will be descending order get return as a response oops which is going to be an array where the data object will be dollar chats and this will be a 200 url this done let's uh, update our routes.php okay um we decided that the url will be get user conversations so mm, so far so good now also uh, we need to first migrate and also see how the data is coming up uh, just before that you know let me just um okay first let me migrate php artisan migrate okay sqlite browser said okay so this is the chat you know table so what we would like to do is basically uh, you know whenever i am uh, <coughs> requesting that url i'll need to get all the conversations where you know the id is where as in the sender id can be my id and you know the user which i have clicked because you know it's a two-way communication right so i want to see the uh, chat ids where the sender is all uh, where the sender is you know me myself and also the sender is the user which i have clicked and similarly um you know when i click i should also want all the conversations where the receiver is myself and the user who will you know which i have clicked so yeah that is the reason we are doing a where in query and we are passing an array with the two ids which you know are in context so in the next video we are going to first populate some data with php tinker and then see whether the url is working correctly or not